Chat now with uh, head coach Rocky Long from the SDSU Aztecs. By weekend this weekend, coach, uh, how's your team handled a couple days off? I know you practiced a little bit last week as well, but just get get us up to date on what what you've been up to since uh, last week. Well, last week we did a lot of work against each other to try to keep the speed up. Uh, so we have the speed of the game going into this week as we prepare for TCU. It's probably the fastest team we'll play all year. Uh, we practiced a little bit last night and put the game plan in. So maybe we're a day ahead or at least an hour ahead from a normal uh, preparation for the game. So we're on our normal schedule now. How surprised were you that TCU lost to SMU over the weekend, and what did you see in that game from the Horn Frogs? Well, I wasn't real surprised because that's a big rivalry. I mean, the schools are about 30 miles apart, and uh, SMU's gotten a lot better since June Jones has become their coach, so I wasn't real surprised. I, I thought TCU would win the game going into it. Uh, what I saw was two offensive football teams that moved the ball up and down the field, and SMU scored more points than TCU. How different is this year's TCU team from last year's team that won the Rose Bowl? Uh, not a lot different. Uh, they're missing some seniors that they had. I think they had 22 or 24 seniors on last year's team. Three seniors uh, that started in the offensive line, a quarterback that was the starting quarterback for four straight years. So they're not quite as experienced as they were last year. They're just as athletic. They're just as fast. And, and when they execute, they're just as good. What's the mentality of your team as you head into conference play? Does anything change just because it's a conference opponent? I know, you know, games are more important in the conference, but do you want your players thinking that they're more important? Well, I, I want the concentration level to go up. I thought we uh, concentrated on some things at our last game that weren't about the game, and I want the concentration level to go up mostly because it is – uh, TCU and they're a very good football team, but conference adds a little something exciting to it. I think uh, uh, I hope they go about the preparation exactly the same way, so we're consistent when we play. Coach, did you miss me last week? <laughs> of course, that's, that's all that matters. I heard you and Ben had a great time last Wednesday night at Hoolies, though. <laughs> we did. We couldn't keep our eyes off the baseball game. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. uh, that was the day the comeback uh, occurred and the amazing the Tampa finish. Bay comeback came. Uh, how did you guys use the bye week? What did you uh, What did you use it for mostly? Mostly to get better. We just played ones against ones, twos against twos, and try to get better and and keep uh, our speed. And so we go into the next game, hopefully playing at a fast pace. Are you worried at all that the Michigan loss will have any lingering effects? You guys did very well bouncing back from defeats last year. I don't expect that would be any different this year. Oh, I'm not worried about what the effect of the last game would have because uh, I'm more worried about how good TCU might be. And they seem to play really good after a loss. Uh, they lost the first game to Baylor, and they played really good against Air Force at Air Force after that. Any injury updates, Coach, after a few days off for your players? Uh, are you getting a little healthier? Well, yeah, we're getting a little healthier, a little fresher. We lost Rob Andrews in the last game, our starting middle linebacker, and uh, he'll be out six to eight weeks with a broken foot. Other than that, we should be fine. When you look back at the Michigan game, Coach, a little bit, did you guys feel like you guys didn't quite step up to the occasion the way you wanted to? And is this another opportunity for your team to step up to the occasion with a big-time team like TCU? Well, I think that the uh, last game, I think that uh, we let all the surrounding uh, things to do with that game affect us some, and so we didn't play up to our potential. I, I actually think TCU is a better football team than Michigan, and they're coming off a, a loss to their rivals, which makes them more dangerous. So we're going to have to play much, much better to win this game. Coach, didn't get a chance to ask you about this last week, but there was uh, talk, uh, at least in college football circles, about the potential of the Mountain West teaming up with Conference USA to create some sort of championship game uh, that you know would possibly get lead to a BCS Bowl. What, what's your thoughts on that idea and whether it, it has merit for the conference? Well, I'm for any idea that gets us an automatic BCS berth. If we, if we can do it on our own as a league, uh, which we've been trying to do, uh, it doesn't seem like that's going to work. If we were guaranteed a BCS berth uh, for a championship game between us and Conference USA, I'd be all for it. If we're not sure, I wouldn't. I wouldn't combine with them for a championship game just on the hope. See, Coach, did you sit down and watch college football this Saturday? Did you or did you get away from college football this past Saturday? No, we're glutton for punishment. No, I watched two or three games <laughs> this Saturday. And watched the Navy Air Force game, which was a great game. I, I watched uh, a couple other games on and off during the day. You know, that's uh, something we brought up a little bit last week, but uh, I know you guys are already game planning for Air Force because as soon as you're done with TCU, 
Uh, you've only got like three days of practice before you guys have to hit the road and play Air Force at Colorado Springs. That's got to be one of the toughest challenges in football. Well, I, I think I think it's tough on anybody to play a game on Saturday than then play the next Thursday. I, I think it's especially tough when you consider that you're moving from a, a spread team, a passing team, a pro set team, and then all of a sudden you're playing against a triple option again. I I, I think that's tough, but uh, I also know Air Force has got a couple. They played. Navy last week, they played Notre Dame this week, so they're coming off a couple, a couple tough games also. That's right. they got to deal with your guys and, uh, and Ronnie Hillman and, uh, and, and Ryan Lindley. How did those two guys come out of the Michigan game? I'm, I'm curious. I know that uh, I'm assuming, anyway, that Ronnie was terribly disappointed at a couple of fumbles. He hadn't fumbled since his first ever college carry, so that's not something you can plan for. And I know that, that Ryan was not on the same page with his receivers the way he wanted to be against Michigan. Well, uh, hopefully everything is behind us now, and we're moving on to the next one at TCU, and and we better because they're pretty good. Well, Coach, uh, we'll be looking forward to it. It's homecoming this Saturday. That's always an enjoyable uh, day for the Red and Black. Uh, they got the uh, the Marshall Falk giveaway for the fans who are in attendance, so it should be another nice crowd, and we're looking forward to the game, and hopefully a nice win to start conference play. As always, good talking to you, Coach. All right, I appreciate you guys calling. Thanks Coach, a lot. Coach, see you soon.